Hey, and welcome to Retro Plays, the show where I, Val, take on retro games for your viewing pleasure. Last week, if you tuned in, you saw my feet on the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, in which I got 100.33 reoccurring percent, I think. I think that's the right mask. But as you can see, we are now kicking it off with Spyro. So let's get on with it. So this game, I have to admit, I never really played as a kid or at any point in my life. I played the demo plenty of times, loved it, but never really got around to getting the game. So this is really fun. So let's create our little file in which we will pass. In the world of dragons. Check this hey, out. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or it has it? Is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we <laughs> now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? Right. What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I'm I just going to keep quiet during the cutscenes. magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take uh -huh. that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. They're wrong. He is <laughs> contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, this is a really a funny game, by the way. That does it. So that guy just turns every dragon into Looks eyes. Like I, I don't know how. Do. And Spyro's all like, I'm gonna whoop ass. But I don't know how he has the power to do that. I don't know. But he does it, and now Spyro's gonna whoop ass. The adventure begins. So, here it is, Spyro. Okay, so let me just tell you what the aim of the game is. As always, I'm going to try to get 100% like I did with the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. What I basically got to do in this game, the main priority is to collect gems and let me just show you. So collect uh, gems and free dragons. And there's also dragon eggs which I have to collect, but that will come later on, as you'll see. So this is kind of like an overworld. Consider it like a walkthrough. In Crash Bandicoot. This is kind of like an overworld, but there is actually stuff to do in it, like this. So here's a dragon. Rescue Nesco. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. No problem. Be ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. Alright. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons. Spyro is very to the That's point. All I can tell you. So he's all like. You gotta free the dragons first if you want to kick Nasty Nork's ass. But he himself will not help me because he is a fat piece of shit. He's like a grown-ass dragon. And he's not helping this little kid dragon. Uh, so this is where you save games and stuff. But we're not going to save right now. So let's proceed. So this game, I do believe, was made around the time that Crash Bandicoot Warped was made. Which was the last game I played. And so it's very up to date, like the controls are really good and stuff. And in fact, on the start menu, there's actually a way of accessing the Crash Bandicoot Warped demo, which I found interesting, but I can't be bothered to show you. So right here, uh, Spyro is really strong. In all honesty, he could probably warp Crash Bandicoot last. But I'm very loyal to Crash Bandicoot. Rescue Devil. Where's Nasty Nord? All right. I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you Another know what dragon the dragon that won't help me? Following you is doing. Um. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. All right, man. So Sparks is kind of like your Aku Aku. He's your health bar. And it's that little dragonfly floating around me. And if you like step over these stones, it's kind of like a checkpoint. So do that every once in a while. So right now, what I want to do is collect all the gems. Huh, that sounds familiar. But yeah, that's what we'll do. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Bang! He runs a lot more quicker than Crash. Look at that shit. It's a destructive force. So this game is... Let's be honest, it is better than Crash Bandicoot. But, Crash Bandicoot is way more challenging as far as I know as of yet. Because I practiced this like episode and it's not very difficult. Just collect all these gems. 
you know what? Uh, because it's such a main part of the game, I'm actually gonna leave it in. Just so you guys know where everything is. Should you ever want to follow as a walkthrough? Probably not. So this guy, he will take you to the next walkthrough basically, but we obviously have to do the levels on this one before you do that. Alright, so... hmm... Uh, how do I turn this? Inverted controls, once again. Look at that, see that glide? Boom! Fire baby! Oh, so he's like a baby dragon, so he can't really shoot fire. He can only really glide and spit fire at best, but he's still very awesome. And look at that, another dragon to free. Let me just get this stuff. Bam! Shuriken! Bam! This game is probably the most coolest thing that must have hit three dimensions back in the day. It is really just like a brand new kind of concept back then, I guess. Just like free roaming aspect and playing as a dragon, not something that kind of resembles a human. Cool Rescued Argus. Alright. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon. Alright. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Dude, chill. Okay, rescued three of the dragons. On this overworld, there are four dragons, so we're doing pretty well there. And there's also a hundred gems to collect. And I don't know how to bring it up. Oh, hang on. 56, so we're doing pretty good there as well. So, get that. Come here, you little shit. Ba BAM! Turd nugget. BAM! And boom! Okay, I think those are lives, maybe? Actually, I don't think they are. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, okay, so that's one of the levels there. I don't want to go into that one. And also, I want to do some other stuff before going into every any level of that map. For that map, what am I saying? Okay, so there's some more gems up here. Ah, oh. oh, damn it! Camera. Let me just change the angle. There we go. Huh. Huh. Oh my god! Let me get up there. All right, I got up here in the end. God damn. <coughs> All right, now let's go through here. Look at that. Certainly am making a number there. And there we go, there's the last dragon. Rescue Thomas. Hey Spyro, All right. press the Sweet jump side button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? <laughs> Falling sounds from like high a mountain toe. peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. Yep. Alright. Uh -huh. Let's get a little checkpoint there. And let me get this little faggot. Boom! Where'd he go? God damn it! I don't. I wish the camera would be at least not inverted. I don't know if I can change that at all. Maybe I can. Let me check. Hang on. Uh, options. Camera. Active. Active. Maybe that will help. Uh. Uh, I think the, that did help a little bit, but it didn't do what I was hoping it would do. Hang on. No, it didn't. Alright, let's go up here. And this is a this is called a whirlwind, I believe. And that's how you collect all this stuff. I think there's not that many gems left. I think they're all in this area, so I did pretty well in terms of taking a route. Um, when you're collecting gems in every level, Try to kind of structure it in a way that you know where you've been. Otherwise, it can get kind of confusing, of course. You can be overwhelmed. Alright, let's just... Oh, boy! Damn it. Okay, I made it back up here. I destroyed that thing, and as you can see, we got 100 out of 100 gems. Pretty cool, right? So now let's actually go into a level. Alright, look at that. 2% already. By having gotten the 100 gems and the 4 dragons in the home part of the Artesian's land. Alright, so now let's actually go into a level. So the one that I'm going to be starting it off with is Stone Hill. Just because. So entering Stone Hill. Okay, so if you didn't gather from the very first cutscene, what the story basically is, is that there's a bunch 
a bunch of peaceful dragons, like a hundred and something, I don't know, I forgot. And there's some guy called Nasty Nork, who is just an ugly piece of shit, who just hates the gems and stuff. And when he looks at a gem, it just reminds him of his own ugliness, and now he's just frozen every dragon just out of pure rage, I think. And then you got Spyro, who's all like, didn't freeze me, bitch. Alright, so this is a level called Stonehill, and they got these rams in this level. I'm just gonna ram them right back, and I'll just get whatever gems are in this little spot first, just so I know that I didn't miss any. It just gets confusing if you start like collecting half, a, half of the gems in one area, then moving on to the next, it's a little much. But as you can see, I got them all. So let's just go into a random door, let's go into this one, get all these gems and as you can see there's a dragon here. And I will free him in a minute, once I get all this, bang ba bam ba bam ba bam ba bam ba bam boo boo boo, and I missed a bunch. <laughs> Alright, I'll get the hang of this, one day, not today though, <laughs> gosh what am I doing, oh the camera, okay, bang, bang. Free the dragon. Alright, rescue the Pindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're uh -huh. saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Ah, oh, you Not don't say. That you Somehow I already knew this trouble, information. Spyro. Five dragons. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm a dragon slayer. Ah, oh, goddammit. Alright. Now let's go somewhere. Uh, let's go in there. That looks promising. Ooh, a gem. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. And this is quite a big area, so you just want to destroy everything, including these guys. Ah, uh, fuck you. Ah, uh, fuck you. Ah, uh, fuck you. And fuck you too. Bam, 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 bam. Such a destructive game. It's pretty fun. If you have not played it, I highly recommend, but you probably have, unlike me. Uh, bam. Bam. Pretty awesome. I think I cleared most of the stuff in this area. Had pretty good control, for once. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now let's go up this whirlwind. Whee! Uh, okay, another dragon. Rescued... Gilladus? Gilladus? Oh my friend, how am I, I hit on gliding? You bet. For the longest <laughs> glide, press the X button at the top of a jump. What? Try pressing Somehow, the my to drop video game knowledge told me of that. It's kind of obvious. So I don't know where these dragons go after they give you this advice. Like, could you guys seriously not help me at all? God damn. All right, so up here. Um, there is a thief with a dragon egg, and you have to stop him. Not particularly sure where he is again, but we'll see. I'm sure he'll show his face. Oh, there he is. See that little blue guy? I'm gonna get him first. Oh gosh, I'm falling off the edge. Alright. Hurrican! Come here, you little shit. Bam! And that's how you get the dragon egg. I don't know what these equate to, like, I don't know what it unlocks, but there's quite a few of them. So, yeah. So up here there's a lot of stuff to collect, and the way I do it, well first of all, if I see a gem I get it, but second of all, I just kind of follow this perimeter which is shown by these like little castle looking things, because you can't go past that point. Fair enough right? So yeah. More gems here. I uh, don't think there's any enemies though. This is a really fun game really laid back as well. I don't know if it gets particularly challenging, but at the moment it's really not. <laughs> Which is fine, I mean it's a really good game still. So there's quite a few gems here, here and there. I think there's about 200 in this level to collect and there was a dragon egg and I don't know how many dragons, but to be honest, as long as you explore every little nook and cranny, you're guaranteed to get 100%, I think. 
Okay, so that's everything there. It's really freaking awesome that he can fly. I wonder if this was the first flying character. Uh, okay, so there's that whirlwind. That takes you out, out of the level. So I think this game is very much free roam. It's not really linear. You don't have to like do a certain amount of tasks to get to the end pad. The end pad is already there. You have to get all the dragons in order to you in order to progress. Okay, so as far as I know, there are no other gems to collect on like the edges. So now let's I'm back at the starting area basically. And let's see what's over here. Okay, I already been here. Okay, so this is another door in the starting area. And I believe this one, it pretty much takes you to the warp room. I mean the warp pad thing. I don't know. Whirlwind, that's it. Oh no, it doesn't. It takes you to a dragon. Oh no, there is a whirlwind there. Anyway, rescued Astor. After you freed all the dragons, uh, pass through this jump. fancy what? vortex uh, thingamaj, Jigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. All right. But first, let me cool. tell you. All these story. dragons look the same. No thanks. See ya. They got all the same different colors though. Anyway, so get that. Get a checkpoint there. Smash that, and I believe there was a beach over here. Yep. And get that. Don't want to go there just yet you want to get some more of course because there are 200 and there's a key there and I'll show you what that reveals momentarily just get that and then get the fucking key get the key all right and then now we just scurry along back to this Whee! this is such a cool character design I have to say it's a cool looking dragon uh, okay, yeah, so now you want to go into this well here. Whee! And that unlocks, well, a dragon first of all. Rescue Gavin! Watch the dragonfly Spyro. Right. His color indicates his power. Yeah. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, yeah. Sure. Cocky piece of shit. If you're so strong, why am I doing this? Alright, so as you can see there are more gems here and I believe it is the last of them. I may have missed one or two, but we'll see. Boom 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 boom! And nope, looks like I got all 200. That's pretty skillful, right? And I believe that is that level done. Let me check. Yep, four dragons, 200 gems and one dragon egg. Now let's exit. I did that a lot more quicker than I thought I would. Because in practice, there were like two gems on like the, uh, the border part that I just could not find. But I found them. Woo, look at that. 300 in the bank! Now, which level to do next? So, I've decided that I'm going to do this one in the maze. Dark Hollow. I almost said hollow. Okay. So, I don't remember what I need for this one, but it will tell me. Wee, look at my butt. Let's go, Tinkerbell. Uh, okay, so then just smack that guy. Uh, the people with the shields, uh, they're fireproof, but they're not, like, getting their ass whooped proof. Which is kind of a problem for them. As you can see, there are some gems here, so be sure to collect them. Spin the camera around. Do that every once in a while, because the camera sucks. So there's another chest here that requires a key. I do not have the key. Um, these big guys, you actually do have to fire breath them. They are getting their ass whipped proof, but not fire proof, if you get what I'm saying. So there's the dragon, free him, rescued Albert. Hello? Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little All creatures. Right. Of course they wouldn't bother me. So how comes when they're frozen they're like significantly smaller than what they actually are? I don't get that. Alright, nine. Uh where should we go next? Um uh, Wee 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 Oh yeah, that's right. Uh let me just get this little minion. This um I forgot what they're called. Norks? I don't know. But anyway, get him. 
and it looks pretty cleared up. Now let's get these guys. Bang. I don't know what this is about, but you can say on fire. Makes it very snug. Bam! And set that one on fire, why not? Get that. And ow, I got hit. So as you can see the firefly changes colour when you get hit. And he'll actually eat this butterfly and get health. So that's interesting. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's go up here. Whoop! 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 Bang! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> let's just go over here. Ooh, pretty colours. And uh, just turn him around a bit. Jump, jump. It's a shame you can't get over these stairs quicker. Get out of my way. Fatty, fatty my fat fuck. Alright, another dragon to free. How's it going? Darius. Rescue Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. Tell me about quick it, man. Flame. That should be I tell you, I have had some day. I rescued ten of you motherfuckers. Okay, get that checkpoint. Um, won't be returning home just yet. Fun fact for you, you don't actually have to hit the warp pad to go home. You could just exit the level as long as you freed all the dragons, mission accomplished. Spit! Ow! Okay, there you go. Uh, so, I just got injured. You can kill like innocent creatures and they turn into butterflies in which the dragonfly will eat them. Which is kind of messed up, but whatever. As long as it keeps Spyro intact. Um, I think that is everything in this area, right? Okay, so I think there's a platform here, and there is. Destroy that, collect all this. Um, destroy that as well. I don't know what these things are, but I'll do my research. You guys remember Warped in Time? Did not collect those relics, and I had to, in the end. All oh, right, so there's some stairs here. I was thinking there was another area, and this contains like a bunch of fat bugs. When they turn them back, you can fire them, which is cool. You might be able to fire them when they face you as well. I don't know. We'll see. They take up the whole passageway. You faggots. Okay, out the way. Yep, there's much more stuff here. Let's just free the dragon first. Rescued Oswin. Cool. Spyro, want to know a secret? Yes. Use the triangle mm -hmm. button when you want to zoom in and look around. All right. Oh, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> okay. Destroy that. Hit up the checkpoint and hmm. So you can zoom in with triangle. That's what that guy just taught us. Just in case you were wondering. And I think the majority of the stuff is in this room, so that's pretty awesome. I'm not missing anything. Going at a pretty good pace. Uh, okay. And now I just fly over here, pick this stuff up, and there's the key that we wanted. So we have to go back to that chest. And by the way, Spyro, just like Crash, cannot swim. Although Crash could swim in Crash Bandicoot 2. Don't know what that's about, but let's just forget it. Maybe Crash 2 ain't canon, because it weren't that great. I mean, out of the three, it weren't that great. It was a good game otherwise. So, now let's go up here. Okay, don't go up there. Ugh, it's annoying that I have to turn the camera every once in a while. But there you go! I think that's the remaining gems in there. And it sure is! Alright! And now then, where was the warp pad? Uh, well I could just exit level, but I just feel like taking the warp pad, just because it's in my nature at this point. And it's not a warp pad, it is a whirlwind. I keep saying that. There you go. Return home! Oh, gliding. Okay, what level to do next? As you can see, we've got 400 gems. Pretty awesome. Now let me just take us to the gateway to the next level. So I've decided that I will go for this level called Town Square. This is located by the towers in that gateway where you free a dragon. 
Blah 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 blah. It's not hard to find. Okay, town square. Forgotten how many gems there are here, but it will tell me momentarily. Whee! There are uh 200. Look at that, eight percent already. Pretty badass. I'd like to see Crash collect this many gems. <laughs> Why am I crashing one of my favorite characters of all time? Don't know. Okay, let's free up this dragon. Rescued Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that uh -huh. area with the ball. Oh, thank you. Use Not the bad L2 tip. and R2 buttons to get a good look. Okay. So once again, there's an enemy that is somewhat immune to your attacks. As you can see, if you do that, they just land on their horns, but they will get back up. I'll just put him out of his misery with some flames. Why not? Oh gosh, he hit me. And I hit him. So the gem actually comes out of that guy, so long as you just hit him at least once. So there's some gems here that I just want to collect. I don't think I'll be returning here. So let's just do that, and I probably won't skip this. Okay, I will. Okay, there we go, we're back. Jump up here, jump up here, jump up there, and I think you flame this, and then you collect the gem, and then it breaks. Flame that. Why not? And then we shall glide on over to there. And if you press triangle, you can just go straight down as you're gliding, which is cool. A little more control. Glide across here. And free up this dragon. Rescue Devlin. Devlin, 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 Devlin. I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, did you know that you get your longest Dude. flies by pressing X? Dragonborn would love this place. Job. He would fuck it up. He would no longer be peaceful. But then again, he can't kill Spyro, so it's all cool. Spyro's the man! Okay, forgot, obviously, these chests are in you. Uh, oh, look at that, that bull's chasing the Nork thing. Tough kitty. I'm gonna chase him now. Do -do 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 Oi, don't fight back! I saved you, kind of. Let's go up these steepy steps. Uh, there's a dragon egg in this one as well. Um, it will show up momentarily because it is held by a thief who runs off with it. Go away, you faggots. Uh, bam! Oh, damn it, damn it. <laughs> oh, I found the warp pad. I mean, whirlwind. Let me just kill these bulls and stuff. Underlay, underlay. Where'd he go? Hey, buddy! Oh, he dead. Okay, free up another dragon. Got a hundred of the gems. I think there's probably two hundred. I forgot. I didn't read it. Rescued Avalos. Did you see I didn't actually see the name of made that up. He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to All right, there we go. And, and get that egg. Run, run. You. <laughs> oh yes, you do. Shut the fuck up. I have got this shit under control. All right, buddy. So where's this dragon thief of ours? Uh, oh yeah, I remember. So you smash all this shit, then jump on up here, and what you want to do is whoosh, skill, and click all that, and there he is. Get him. Get the little fucker. <laughs> I'll come back for these gems. Although I am collecting a good portion. Where are you going, you little shit? Ah, fuck. Oh, fuck. He escaped. Let me get back to that point! Little shit! How you like that? Fucking turd nugget. Okay, uh, I have to get back up there. And there you go. And then once you return to that platform, or if you didn't fall in the first place, you can get these boxes over here, which contain gems, which are kind of important, right? Bam! And yeah, let's glide on over there. Do, 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 do. Bam! Oh, I almost ran too far, and that guy was coming right up on my ass. A gold one? That's worth 10 apparently. Uh, this thing, you just kind of flame it up, and it gives you another 10. So that's cool. 
Um, I'm still missing some. Don't know where they are. We'll see. Okay, rescued four. Fucking four. Thank you for releasing uh, me. As a pun. Thank you for releasing me. Ah, oh, genius. Okay, got a checkpoint there. Let me just find these remaining gems. Okay, so I think I remember. They should be right around here. Yep. Smart. Okay, get those things. Uh, and there you go. That's all 200. Return home! I actually died twice there. Uh, I just happened to fall in water just during the off screen time. Which is kind of annoying, but who cares? I don't think I'll lose any more lives, right? Okay, so let's go on to the next level. Actually, I'll show you the journey there because it's kind of important, I guess. It's a little bit of a puzzle. So, you go over to here. Uh, let's just take out this guy. Oh, by the way, any enemies you've already defeated, they give you this clear gem. And what the clear gem does is it, after you collect a certain amount, it turns into a life. Uh, you see like this ring like forming around Spyro's little golden head in the corner. But anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta jump on here, jump on here, jump on here, jump on here, and then jump on here. And then you get the ray gun. Haha! <laughs> Just kidding, get a level. Goddamn idiots. Alright, sunny flight. Woohoo! So this is an interesting level. It's one where you just kind of glide. It's kind of like, um... What's it like? It's, it's like something from Crash Bandicoot, I don't know. Uh, so what I like to do is, I destroy that train there, and then I go down here, and I just lose my shit. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. On second thoughts, what you should do is destroy that train, definitely, but then come back around and there's an other one coming right here. And I missed it. <laughs> that was kind of annoying, but it's okay. Get it again. So now, it's kind of important that you get all these chests over here. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, easy now. So sometimes you may like kind of lose your ability to fly. You may like accidentally step on a platform. In which case, if you just press X randomly, it will just glide back up, which is awesome. So now I just need to get out, and there you go. Pretty awesome, right? And then there happens to be a train coming around here. Destroy that, and that only leaves one train. And we've got all the chests. Another thing you have to do is go through these little... I don't know, what would you call this? An arc? You go through the arcs, and you want to destroy all these planes that just have to show up. So do that. You want to really just get the ongoing ones. The oncoming ones, even. So like that, and then you can just get the other ones going in the other direction. Oh, and there's a train coming up, so you want to hit that up. So obviously once your time runs out, that's when you get screwed. So make sure you don't run out of time by just doing all this stuff as quick as possible. I, on the other hand, am not doing it all too quick, it would seem. I've kind of gotten unlucky, and crap. But there you go, you destroy all that, and now you just want to go through the rest of the arcs, and hopefully I'll have enough time. Don't know if I will, but hopefully I do. There's really not much more I can do, except for just hope. There you go, get that, uh, leaves me with a little bit of time, perhaps not enough. Let me get back to that point. Alright, do that one, and then last but not least, this one. And there you go. So I actually already did this, but I just did it again because I forgot to record. And I'm actually much more proud of my time this time around. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. You collect all that. And that's my record. That's my time. My previous time was that one. Okay, so I don't want to try again. That's that level. It's pretty fun. It takes a little getting used to... Uh, a little of getting used to. What? I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, there's 900 gems. Now let's go on to the next level. Okay, so there it is. It opens up, and you go into Toasty. Now this is actually a boss battle, and it's not actually that difficult, if I'm honest. Surprise, surprise. But maybe it will get more difficult as we progress. So collect as many gems as you can. Well, as many gems as you're supposed to, what am I saying? 
Okay, so that dog will in fact crush you, so be aware. And the only way of beating him is to flame him twice? Uh, I think I defeated him. I don't remember. But anyway, let's collect these gems here. There's another dog, flame him. He's still alive, flame him again, if you can. There you go. So he drops a gem, flame that guy. Oh gosh. Okay, so that's the first death you guys seen of me in this game. Uh, yeah, I think I may have collected some gems that I did not show. But yeah, I kind of ran off the edge here. So don't do that. Get this dog. Oh, he landed on me again. And enough is enough. I eventually defeated him. God damn, can't believe that happened twice. But now you just proceed to over here. And as you can see, my dragonfly is a little bit hurt, but who cares? It's kind of important, I guess. Oh gosh. Turn this shit around. Pick this up. Destroy him. Okay, maybe not. Turn around, then destroy him. Swag. Bang, 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 bang. <sighs> oh. And flame. Flame. Oh, the music is kicking off. <laughs> Bang! That is awesome. Okay, let's get a few gems here, hidden over here. Now, there's 100 gems on this level, by the way, in case I didn't tell you. In which case, my be. Okay, let's turn this camera around. Jeez. That dragon, I mean dog, did not even notice me. That's kind of annoying that I've just taken a few hits just because I've just idly just stood there. But oh well. Oh, again. Get that. Uh, I think that's everything here. Let me just see if I can get my health back up over here. Right, anything? No, probably not. Okay, looks like I'm taking on my boss, the boss, at a pretty shit level of health. But oh well. Okay, free up this dragon. Oh, there's the boss, by the way. Rescued Nevin. Nasty hey, Nevin. Has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Is that Bring right? I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. <laughs> this boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, 16. Uh, let's get a checkpoint because I may die. I can't even get into it. There we go. Flame that, flame that again, and there you go. And here's the boss, you do that, and then he just runs off. Interesting, right? You may have saw something there, and it's of somewhat significance. But I don't know how closely of it, ah, how closely you were paying attention, but it was kind of interesting to see. So kill the dogs, they'll drop some gems, you're gonna want those. Rotate the camera back. It's weird because he's a boss that literally doesn't attack you. And look at that, it's a sheep on some stalks or whatever. So I don't know what's the big deal about this boss battle. Hang on. Oh gosh, this camera. And let's do that again. Bang! And where is he? Boosh! There you go. Oh, he got defeated. So that's the boss battle. So difficult that was. And do that. And looks like I missed a few gems. Let's find out where they are. Okay, there's one there. <laughs> I just missed it. And that was the only one I needed. Okay, there you go. So that's all the gems in the Artesian's land. Return home. So that's pretty awesome, right? Pretty skillful of me. A thousand gems in total collected in just this episode. I haven't even collected a hundred in Crash. Okay, I have collected that many, but I don't know. So let's just get my little Sparks' health back up now. Why not? There you go. He'll eat those little butterflies and then he's back to his lovely little yellow golden colour. Sweet! We conquered the land. Even though these guys are still here. Don't know what that's about. I did lose a fair amount of lives. Also got a fair amount of lives back. 
So this guy will take us to the next land. Marco the Balloonist. Wow, I see you have been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Let's go to the Peacekeeper's, we shall. I jumped on his head and then got in here. And then just flew off without him. Makes sense. He was just like, screw you man. I ain't paying. I'm a dragon who can't fly. Okay, so this is the Peacekeeper's world. And... Let's just free up this dragon and I'm gonna wrap up the episode. Rescue Titan. Welcome to Ooh, back. Spyro. A different design. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Uh -huh. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. I got it too. Okay, so I just felt the need to free up one dragon just so I could save the game. Okay, so that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do leave a like and fucking subscribe.